Hey, what's up? This your boy, Mr. Heavily Motivated. Um, I've been getting a lot of play on a video I made a while ago. That video was about how to avoid gangs while in prison. So I wanted to drop like a part two type dialogue on how to avoid gang gangs while in prison. Now, first of all, I'm not promoting none of that foolishness. I'm totally against, I'm totally against it. All right. But I have a bunch of folks that, that follow my channel that that's inquiring, asking questions. Um, and even like me, myself, I was caught up in the mix for a long time. And that's why I just feel like I'm certified to talk about this based on, you know, my trials and tribulations and what I've been through. Let me fix my shirt. Hate when it's like that. But how to avoid gains while you're in prison. The easiest thing, and I'm going to start this video off where I end the last one at. The easiest way to avoid gangs while you are in prison, and this may sound cliche, is not to do the stuff that leads you to prison. All right? The first thing, you, you know, the easiest way if you want to avoid it is, is don't go to prison. So, I mean, if, if you out there uh, being a stepper, you're up there turning up, you out, you out there doing things that's going to lead you towards a prison sentence, just stop. Stop it because... It's really not worth it. All you're going to do is separate yourself away from your family. You're going to separate yourself from your loved ones. You're going to become a burden to those that love you. You're going to become like a, when I say burden, I mean like a responsibility. No matter how much money you got in there, you're going to constantly be on the phone calling somebody to do something for you. But once you get in there, you know, some folks just chose that, that life and there's nothing you can do about it. Some people, you can't change their mind. But once you get in there, you, you don't want to walk in there pretending like you hard. I had someone comment on the last video. They said they were about to get locked up for a minute and was asking, should they go in there and put on a hardcore persona? What you want to do is you got to go in there being being you. You got to be the person that, that you are. You know, if you're not hard, don't act like you hard because somebody that, that is actually hard is going to step to you. And they're going to test that whole rude boy, hardcore, thug life persona you're putting on. And when they find out you can't back it up, whoo, you mess around being a bunch of trouble. So rule one, all right, is just be the person you are. Rule two is to go in there realizing that you cannot come back out the same person that walked in. You got to come back out better. I don't know, male, female, whoever, Hispanic, white, black, Asian, whatever. You got, you cannot, the same inmate or offender or whatever you want to call it that walks into an institution cannot be the same person that walks out of the institution. All right. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to avoid things. You're going to have to avoid some people and you're going to have to grow. You have to surround yourself around the right people. Now, the first thing that's going to happen, somebody going to come to you. They're going to be like, where you from? Who you with? You know, they want to know where you from. They will like, okay, well, they're your homeboys over there. The reason they, they, they're going to point out where your homeboys is, is most people want to see if you're going to fall on what they call homeboy time. Because there are set gangs in prison, like Bloods, Cribs, GDs. You know, whatever, Vice Lord folks, Serenios, Norteño, Norteños, um, the, what's the, it's the Filipino gang, Asian gangs, it's Puerto Rican gangs, but they're going to want to know who, where you from, and they're going to connect you with somebody where you from and see how you click up with them. Now, some people click up and run to them because they're scared. Some people click up and run to them because they need protection. Some people click up and run to them because they can't fight. And some people just go like, oh, oh, yeah, okay, we grew up in the same neighborhood. And it's crazy because on, on the streets, this neighborhood in, in, one, in your city could be against this neighborhood in your city. But when you get an institution, that whole city going to go together. So you, if you're from a big city, it's not going to be like, oh, he's from the west side, I'm from the east side, I don't rock with him. No, it's going to be your city against another city. So there'll be like little cliques or factions, fractions just going against each other. But you got to go in, you introduce yourself, you talk to them, 
hey, this is where I'm at. My mom live here. Grandma live here. Went to school here. Okay, yeah, that's my homeboy. And they're going to try to bring you in. They're going to click you up. And if you ain't with it, you just let them know. Like, man, look, I'm just trying to slide through, do my time, and get out of here. And they're going to give you some beef. Oh, woo, woo, woo. You scared. They may call you names. They might push you. They may call you a sissy. Um, but you got to avoid it. And then you got the bigger gangs that's, that want, that's in there existing. And the easiest way to... To avoid the bigger gangs, most of the time is you got to want to get in it. They're not actively forcing people to get into the gangs. A lot of times they're not. Some cases is different. But most of the time they're not going to force you to get into that gang. It's something that you're going to have to choose to do. So with my recommendation to you, first of all, number one is do not go to jail. Do not go to prison. Do not do things that's going to send you that way. But as a realistic person, people out there are already doing these things, already committing crimes. They're already into the lifestyle. They're already on the block. They already got their guns. And when you get in there, man, you got you to gotta stand on your own. Stay in your lane. Know where you're at. If you want to seek financial education, find people that's in there being knowledgeable. If you want to learn stuff, you go to the law library. You go to the regular library. If you want to be Muslim, go to Juma. If you want to be Christian, go to church. If you're going to be Catholic, attend mass. And make that your core circle because you can't be out here saying, oh, I'm up here in church or I'm at Juma or I'm doing this. But then as soon as I leave these folks, I'm going over here with my homeboys kicking it on some gang time or on some block time. Then... Another thing you got to do, you got to stay away from gambling. Don't mess with the poker table. Don't mess with the spade table because they there. All right. And you can't be scared. And I don't promote violence. I don't promote a lot of ignorant stuff. But you just you can't be scared, man. Somebody comes to you and if, if, if it's a situation where you got to fight, guess what you do? You just got to fight. You just got to fight. It's going. I know people out here in the world, they used to shooting and you may not know how to fight, but you just going to have to fight to get it in and, and and get to the other side of that. You have to, because when them doors pop, you know, they're going to come in there. The goons might come after you. Somebody might might want to fight you or just act like they want to fight you to see what you're going to do. But you don't need a gang. You don't need a gang to do all that. You just go handle your business and stay, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. And it's, it's weird that I'm talking about this because I don't want my YouTube channel to be to be grounded on prison life because there's more layers to me than, than a prisoner, all right? And I don't want my YouTube channel to be grounded on like thug life because there's more layers to me than thug life. I'm, but I'm, I'm realizing that the videos that, that have this kind of content, they get the most views. So I'm just here talking about, this is not a prison channel. This is a channel about a returning citizen getting back into society, doing what he got to do to reconnect with his family, raise a family, raise a new family, reconnect with, with his siblings, his loved ones, and actually be successful in, and not be out here living broke and not be constantly confused and not be under pressure and don't, don't be stressed out. That's really to the core of what this channel is about. It's not all about, oh, we banging or we thugging or this, that. But the funny thing, it's like, that's what y'all want to see. You want to see somebody that's flashing money. You want to see somebody that got racks, that they got girls twerking. You're not going to see none of that here. What you're going to see is a, is, a, is a man doing what he has to do to not return to the situation where he came from. I don't want to go back to prison. So if you're going to ask me how am I going to avoid a gang in prison, I'm not going. Flat out. I'm not going back to prison. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do the thing that's going to cause me to get there. All right. I don't know all the law. I don't know all the codes or statutes, but I got common sense and I know right from wrong, just like, you know, right from wrong. So how we, the first step that we're going to use to avoid this, and I, this probably not why you tuned in, you might've tuned in to be entertained with some crazy prison story, how somebody got stabbed and shanked and little Ray Ray over there with, with little Pookie and they putting their work over in cell block six, but no, nah, this is not what this is about, man. 
Because there's people in there, there's big homies in there, man, that's, that's, that's not coming home. And it's, it's, it's dudes in there that there's that's wolves. There's dudes in there that's real predators. You know, that's, if if your grandma send you some money, they, they want 30% of that. They want 25% of what your people sent you. It's really going down like that. So the easiest way to avoid gangs in prison, stay out of prison. But if you mess up and stumble up and find yourself in there, I'm going to tell you, get in a good book. Build a relationship with God. Work on your spirituality. You know, stay away from gambling. Stay away from all the fornication stuff that's going on. And, and stay in your lane. And you got to see things and don't see them at the same time. See it and don't see. Somebody be like, yo, you saw what happened over there? Nah. They be like, but you were standing right there. Yeah, but I ain't paying no attention. You know, see it and don't see because you don't never know who testing you or who going to run back and say that you told them something, man. So that's my advice for y'all. The easiest way to avoid gangs in prison. Stay in your lane. Be respectful. Don't step on nobody's toes. Don't try to open up no business. Don't go in there and try to open up a store box in the block where you, before you scope it out and know that the Crips or the Bloods might actually be running this block. Don't try to move no product. Don't get down with the parlay. Just slide through. Do your time. Learn something. Kick it with people that's, that's educating themselves. That want to get out and do something different. That want to get out and do something better. Talk to people that's reading books about investing about finances, you know, build a relationship with God, learn how to pray, spend time at the chapel, the church, the temple, whatever you call it, whether you want to seek the house of Yahweh, whatever you want to do, just find, find you and connect to yourself, man. Connect to yourself and, and, and be a better person. It's not really that hard, but a lot of people don't do it. And that's the key to success. That's the wisdom. That's it. It's not entertaining, not funny. It's no thug life story. Just be yourself. Don't lie to people. And don't borrow nothing from nobody that you know that you ain't going to pay back. That's real important. Don't borrow nothing from nobody that you know you ain't going to pay back. And don't borrow nothing from nobody that might want something else from you in return that you ain't willing to pay. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that's part two of the video, man. I hope that this helped you, but ultimately I hope that you are not doing things to lead you into that direction because it's just going to lead you somewhere where you don't want to go. So y'all stay heavily motivated, stay humble, sit down. Peace.